അവരിക്കോ The only way to get a complete sense of the real Morocco is to head out with a local guide. And in Erfoud, some of the most informative and colorful characters are the freelancers who hang around town. If you're lucky enough to run into Adi Massad, he speaks 10 languages and knows the desert and its people intimately. No, now we go to see the lake. Three years ago, no rain. The lake, he, he drink it, the water, and now there is just little with flamingos. Little, small. It's amazing to find any form of life in this sun-beaten environment. And considering the recent drought, the salt lake near the dunes is an unlikely sight. didn't rain for three years here, right? Yeah, between three years. But we have good life. We have water in the middle of the dune. When the, the lake is is complete with yes. the water, there is many tents, nomad. And there is just for uh, swimming, like what I ask, and also for camel and sheep. And now there is nomads, but you can see there in the black desert. Yeah. <laughs> Inshallah. Sahara. <laughs> Just Sahara. You know that. I <laughs> <laughs> say the water is delicious. Yes. We come from the old, old people. They come from this, from Sandy. And we will back to Sandy. And we must to smile before day. This is life. Inshallah. Sahara. Thanks to God for everything. What an incredible sight. I've never seen so many flamingos this close. There have to be 50 or 60 of them, so we really lucked out today. On the journey south to the Sahara, the outpost town of Merzouga is the last stop on the desert's edge. Most people pass through on the way to the dunes of Erkchebi, but it's worth a stop to check out the carpets at the Nomad Trading Post. Here is the place old family nomads have put his artisanal. Bismillah. Bismillah. This is the first, uh, I mean, uh, stop for the nomads to do trading before those things reach big towns. All these designs that you see in every carpet, they are not made by the women just uh, for decoration. But every design that you see in the carpet is made by the women as a means of communication. Because uh, the carpet is not like uh, something they use for decoration, but it's, it is like a traditional book. Yeah, it it is something very, Yeah, it tells a story. This antique one, it's a Bedouin carpet which is made uh, it is a carpet with a combination of three different techniques. First, it is woven, and then it is embroidered with a very small needle from cedar wood, and then it's knotted. That's why it is called a relief carpet. And this is the beginning of the carpet, the fringe that you see there, that's the end. This means that this carpet is made by only one woman. The tent is the symbol of the hospitality by the Bedouin women. And this pattern in the middle, it's a sign against evil eyes. How long would something like this take to make? It's about six months. Yeah. And uh, I say that the carpet for Berber and Tuareg or for any lady who lives in the desert, 
is not something that she has to make. For instance, whenever she starts weaving one carpet, she never know that she will end weaving this carpet next month or next year. Well, now we're on our way to the nomad village behind the dunes where we're gonna be spending the night. And if for any reason they run out of carpets, I have two of my own. Berbers are the original inhabitants of North Africa, and their culture dates back for thousands of years. In this region, there are still pockets of nomadic tribes throughout the desert, and with the right guide, many of the local communities will welcome visitors. On this occasion, we arrived as a traditional wedding celebration was underway. There is another family, she come with, my, with bicycle, with my moto from another place, just to play music and eat, dance. 40% of the Moroccan population identify themselves as Berbers, and their ancient tribal communities still dominate the rural areas of the country. The culture is extraordinarily diverse, and while customs vary between regions, the people maintain strong ties to their historic identity. Traditional Berber weddings are one of the most significant cultural celebrations, and the event can last anywhere from three to seven days. The occasion is a festive display of ancient rituals, and members of the community travel from far distances to participate. And now, Berber, Salim Ghafs, my name is Mehta. Hello. Hello. Can I see your hands? Henna is a customary part of most Moroccan weddings, and in the Berber culture, the groom is adorned with painted designs on his hands and feet. Another tradition is the elaborate feast held in honor of the ceremony, and preparations for the evening celebration start early in the day. Couscous is the one dish that defines Moroccan cuisine. The durum wheat is rolled by hand into fine grains of pasta and then boiled and steamed on an open fire. Usually, there are a number of people involved in the process. Couscous? Couscous. Couscous. <laughs> so three day, our tradition is three day in marriage. The first day, we make henna. The second day, amour. The last, we see the face of the girl. Come, I show you. Regardless of how many people a Berber family invite to a wedding, they are always open to receiving more. We weren't formally invited, but we were the guests of Addy, and as it's typical for guests to bring guests, our arrival was not considered unusual. At these celebrations, another tradition is the customary greeting reserved for family and friends, and we were honored to have the groom give us our official welcome. <laughs> The nighttime festivities officially began with the great feast. And in the desert tribes, the fresh kill of a goat signifies the importance of the occasion. Come here, come here. Same tradition. There is one, one thing is changing is the when he doesn't know you, he doesn't believe you. When he don't know you, you don't will sit here. When he don't know you. He will be, be careful. You know why? Which he bring for us, for he, him, this be, this be careful. He come from city. Before nomads, if you come in, yeah. happy. Happy. Sahara like some brothers for him. He like just to see someone, never he see it. Look. Look. 
ke ber ber sahara The last day of a Berber wedding runs well into the night, and after the feast, the celebrations continue with traditional music, dance, and song.